Welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how I painted this Death Guard Chaos Space Marine. This was a very fun video to make because it has a lot of weathering and a little bit of paint chipping on the armor and I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget if you like the video to like, comment and subscribe and stay after the video if you would like to know how to support my channel. I'm going to start by priming the model in grey. I'm going to use Rust-Oleum Automotive Primer. I would recommend using grey or white primer so that the first layer of paint sticks well to the model. I'm going to start by base coating the whole armor of the model with Strachan Green. This is a layer paint, that's why it's important to start with a light base. If not, you would have to give this model a lot more coats. One coat uh, worked fine, but I did two coats just to be sure. I'm using an old base coat brush to base coat the model and I'm using a little bit of drying retarder to help the paint stay wet for longer and to minimize the paint strokes and crumbs that you may make when you apply drying paint. Once that's done and dry, I'm going to use Lead Belcher and with this color I'm going to paint all of the iron parts of the armor. You can go for a clean armor look on your Death Guard, but I'm using uh, what I saw on Lexicanum, which is that the, the Plague Marines have very rusty iron uh, trim on their, on their armor, and that's what I'm going for. So I'm using Lead Belcher with a little, I think it's a size 1 brush and I'm just base coating all of those, these places that I want to be iron. I also think that a clean silver trim Death Guard would look pretty good. Once that's done I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade and this color I'm going to use it in two ways. I'm going to use a fine detail brush and color in the recesses of the green because we don't want to spend a lot of time cleaning up the bright green color of the armor so uh, we just uh, use the wash on the very recesses and on the metal parts we're going to use a medium brush to shade in all of those silver areas you don't need to, but we're going to be doing some more steps onto the metal and it's better to make sure that they have a shade in between the recesses uh, before we move on. And that's what I'm doing here. And since we are using this color to paint the recesses of the green, we can just use it on the silver as well. Next, I'm going to use Typhus Corrosion. Make sure to shake this paint well because we're trying to get the texture from this paint onto all of the metal areas. This is going to s simulate some sort of very bad rusting. It's going to give texture to the metal areas and it's going to look like dirt on your metallic areas. If you don't want to, you don't have to cover the whole silver area. You can leave a little bit of the old color showing. I did use it on most of the iron parts of this model because some of the areas still showed through even though I covered them on Typhus Corrosion so just uh, test it out, use a little bit if you would like to add more, add more but uh, it depends on how much rust you want on your model Next I'm going to use Trolls Layer Orange with this color I'm going to add more rust onto the iron parts and we we are doing this messy steps before we clean up the green because it's gonna be a little bit messy. We're going to give all of the metallic areas a very dry dry brush with this color, uh, trying to bring up that very orange color that rust has. And you can also kind of stipple this color into places where you want to really show a very orange patch of rust. 
uh, it's up to you how much rust you want on your miniature but I went very lightly all over the metal first and then I kind of stippled some orange into certain parts just to bring a little bit more rust onto them Once that's done, this is how the model should look. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to use Runefang Steel. And with a very dry dry brush again, I'm going to try to bring, bring back a little bit of the silver uh, color on these areas. Uh, you only have to apply it on the very uh, sharpest edges just to suggest that there's still metal on on the bottom of the of all of these layers of rust and uh, we're trying just to dry brush on the parts that you know that would uh, tear a little bit more like very pointy places on the armor so that you can see a little bit of the iron color below of the rust next I'm going to start cleaning up all of the armor of this model with Strike and Green again. Uh, you don't have to really clean it up very neatly because uh, if you make mistakes, some of them actually look good on a Death Guard model. And here I'm just uh, lining up all of the places where I got a little bit extra uh, wash or if the dry brush of orange get got onto the, the green parts, I just cleaned it up. Next, I'm going to use Rhinox Hide, and with this color, I'm going to create holes on the armor. I'm just randomly doing sort of a poking holes onto the armor and just putting some dots on it. Don't overdo it. Don't do a lot because then your your Death Guard is going to look like a polka dot Dalmatian or something. Just uh, pick some random spots here and there and give it some spots, and to highlight these spots and all of the edges I'm going to use Ushafti Bone. This color looks very good on the edges of the green and uh, I'm going to do the lines as fine as possible with the detail brush. Again using drying retarder to help me uh, keep the tip of my brush uh, wet and to work longer with this paint on the edges and uh, yeah I'm just picking these uh, spiky bits and uh, on the on the holes of the of the armor, just uh, highlight the bottom part of the hole to make it look like a, a 3D chipping on which the edge of the paint looks a little brighter than the rest of the armor. We're very close to finishing now. We're going to use now sandry dust and with this color I'm just going to paint all of the bone areas on the model. Uh, the tutorial is finished because uh, depending on your model it might have uh, bone or something else but here I'm just painting the bone with sandry dust and washing it with Agrax Earthshade and then I'm just, just going to paint the, the lenses and that's it. Here I'm washing the bone with Agrax Earthshade and then I'm going to move on to use Mephiston Red to just color the three eyes on this Nurgle helmet. Very careful not to get onto all of the metal around. And to finish it up, once the wash is dry, I'm going to use Ushapti Bone to dry brush the bone and give it a highlight. And this is the finished model. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Uh, I had a lot of fun painting this Nurgle Death Guard Marine and it was uh, very easy to do because of the weathering we were allowed to be messy with the paint job and if it, even if you do a very messy job it also looks 
very nice. And if Death Guard is your thing, you should really try it out. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it entertaining and helpful. And if you like it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps out this channel. And if you would like to see more videos in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that you can visit me on Facebook and leave a comment on this comment section below to ask me a question if you have. And if you would like to let me know what should I paint next. Support me on Patreon if you can, that really helps me out. And thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you on the next video. You stayed. Great. Thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel you can become my Patreon on Patreon. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content. If you can't that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below. I hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which I can get paid. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.